videos on Friday, and I know I've been kind of MIA with uh, posting videos lately, mostly because of uh, miscommunication, and I know I missed last week's theme, and I think the week before, but I'm not actually sure if that was supposed to happen or not, but um, this week's theme is to pick our five worst items that we've ever purchased. This is a little bit hard for me because I wanted to stick to the theme that I missed which was picking your favorite color and mine happens to be green and I did find one item that was green that I do totally regret buying like completely. I feel so stupid but um, I'll get into that in a second. So this week's theme is the five worst items that we've ever purchased and the first thing that I purchased that I really 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 regret is these three nose rings right here. And I thought they were really, really cute. It's not that um, I dislike them or anything. It's the fact that whoever pierced my nose actually pierced it crooked. So I actually have more cartilage than I need. And my nose doesn't heal properly. So I can't wear normal nose rings like this. I actually have to let my nose heal up before I can use one of these. But I think it's not going to bug me too much. I think I'm good with uh, my regular stud that I have in. But I do regret buying these. I regret that I bought them before my nose healed. Before I could actually know if these would fit or not. So... It's really too late to return them or anything, but they were only $5, so definitely a good deal on the nose rings, and they are surgical, so it's not that they were bad or anything, it was just a really bad decision on my part. And then the next thing that I totally, totally really regret is this Aziza lip gloss, and it's nothing against the color, it's really pretty coral color. It's just the fact that it smells like crayons and it tastes like crayons and the texture of it is not that great feeling. But the color is really great. I do like it when it's on. It's just, um, if I want to wear it, I have to wear it with like a chapstick or something else good tasting over it, like a clear lip gloss that tastes good. Otherwise, this stuff tastes like crap and it is definitely not a good item. I don't recommend the Aziza brand of lip gloss because it is not good. And the other thing that I really regret buying is by Wet n Wild, which is a really big shocker. I love Wet n Wild, but um, it's not necessarily the whole palette that I regret. It is the green side of this palette, which is what I was mentioning earlier. I don't know why I thought I was going to be able to wear these dark colors. I obviously, I don't like dark colors on me, and I think they make me look like I got punched in the face. They make me look washed out. I really just don't like dark colors with myself. But this side of the palette, I really do love it. It's just these ones right here, I would have to wear them as like a liner or something. They just, they don't go with my complexion or my face or anything like that. So I do regret buying these, especially since they're so pigmented. There's so much fallout, and it's just really hard to work with a color that doesn't suit me. And then the other thing I regret buying, which is really weird because this was one of my favorite items until um, just last month. I've been using this forever. It's the St. Ives Apricot Scrub. Scrub, sorry. And um, basically what this is supposed to do is control your blackheads and blemishes. Um, I've been using this for about four months. I was loving it at first. So I was like, oh, hey, this is working. Well, it turns out it is not working. My blackheads are not going away. I'm still getting like blemishes and spotting and everything. So I have quit using this. Um, as you can see, I haven't used much of this because this is a newer tub, but I have been using the brand and the um, product itself for a really long time, and I just, I really regret buying this again because it really didn't do anything for me. And then fifth and final is this Aquafresh Extreme Clean Whitening Action um, with Microactive Foaming Action. And it's a toothpaste, and honestly, me and my boyfriend were totally stoked about this. We went and bought two big things of this, and we were super excited because it was a good deal, and we're like, hey, Aquafresh is great, it tastes good, all this stuff, and um, we've never had a problem with Aquafresh, Aquafresh, and so we're like, okay, we'll give it a go. And so what happened was we ended up using this, and the first thing that we noticed was that it tastes like Hall's cough medicine, like those little drops. It tastes like those Hall's cough medicine things, and that was not a good taste. It tastes so horrible. Uh, we're trying to bear with it, but um, what I do use is Crest 3D White. I don't regret buying this because this is my favorite toothpaste ever. Um, this was mentioned in my April favorites, if you want to check that out on my channel. Um, I definitely mentioned a lot of great products on my April favorites, and this is one of them. But I do regret buying this, and I don't recommend this if you don't like the taste of cough drops or anything like that. Because this definitely tastes like the Hall's cough drops, and I don't like that at all. So that's the five things that I really dislike. 
Um, I try not to sound too horrible about them because there are things that I do like about them. It's just, um, they just didn't work for me and I definitely don't recommend them if you have the same taste as me or anything like that. Um, especially this, I don't know if anybody likes the flavor of crayons. I definitely don't like the flavor of crayons, but, um, five worst products I've ever bought. I definitely regret all of these. I wish these fit me, but, um, till next Wednesday, I'll see you guys soon. Bye, everybody.